If you love me, I got a word for the both of us. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are not new and welcome, if you are new, make sure to subscribe to join and the Yana fam. You know, this is the best fam. It is the latest fam ever. But in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial or showing you guys a tutorial on how to download um, already made builds to put in your game so that if you just want to go in your game and, you know, you don't want to build a house, but you want to have a house and you just want to decorate it. This is what we're going to be giving an eye on today. So we're going to be show I'm going to be showing y'all how to get that in your game. Okay. So the lot that I'm using today for an example or the house that I'm using today for an example is um, 222 Hampton DR or drive. If that's what it's supposed to mean. 20 by 15 residential. It is by J. Renee. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Gaming. Right. So I love her houses and whatever and her build i just love her builds overall in general period they're the best i love decorating them because i feel like i'm not the best type of person to make outer exterior designs for like houses i'm not i'm not that type of person i can't do all of that i just like to decorate the house okay so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to download it okay so when you're downloading residentials or yeah when you're downloading residentials you always want to read the description so i'm gonna go ahead and read that even if you don't like reading honey like me you got to read it okay you got to read it so 222 hampton we already read that make sure bb dot move objects is on before placing so nothing disappear off the lot t o u you can do as you please with the build as long as you don't claim it as your own. If you use it for you, for you, LP. I don't think she typed that right, but it's supposed to say, if you use it for your, your it's supposed to say your LP or photo, you can tag me. I would love to see what you do with the house. Okay, so if you do use the house, any other builds, honestly, just tag her. You just give her some praise, okay? Because it is her build, okay? And you are using it. So you're gonna click download, and then it's supposed to send you to mid fire, mid fire, media fire, something like that, and then it's going to be downloading. Okay. So in the meantime, while it's downloading, I'm gonna be looking at the house and the, some of the places or like rooms in the house with you guys. If my computer wants me to see the pictures data, because you know Wi-Fi a little bit slow, but we're gonna see from the, here. Can we look from here? I don't know why it's not working, but so far it's cute. So I think this is the whole ex like the whole house. Is is it? A, I think it's one floor. But this is nice because you have like a little kitchen. Is this supposed to be like a little dining room, a little living room? I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I think this could be like a garage or something. And then I'm not even sure because this house. Oh, it's a it's a two story house, right? It's a two-story house, so, yeah. Um, I think, oh, this is really, that's like, it's like a really simple but cute build. If you're doing like a little, like a small starter home for your family that you just made, it's really cute. I like, I like the flooring. This is cute, and this thing looks so realistic right here. It's cute. I like it. Personally, I will be playing with this house in the future. So, I'm going to actually let it download and then we'll be back with you guys, okay? We'll be back once it finished downloads. So, now, guys, it's finished downloading. I just dragged and dropped it to my um, desktop. Now, you are going to open it, double-click it, and then I just like to make, I just like to do the screens like this. And then I'm going to get another file, ex, a file explorer folder, sorry. And then I'm going to put them beside each other. Don't really matter. There we go. Okay. So now you want to go to your documents folder, your electronic arts, the Sims 4. You're going to see this. You're going to go to your WinZip file with the residential residential place i don't know whatever it may be that is a lot okay you're gonna click it and you're gonna see tray files in there you're gonna see files like bpi files tray item file blueprint file okay don't stress you have to keep those those have to be in your game okay now you're gonna go in your sims 4 
um, file, folder, whatever. And then you're going to see tray, okay? For the tray, you're going to double click into that folder. Then you're going to go to your WinZip folder and you're going to see these, num these ones with the numbers. Do not do the one that says mods. That should not go in there. You're going to do the one with the numbers. So you're going to drag and drop. It's in there, okay? And then I already have them in there, so I am just going to exit out. But for you, it would go through pretty smoothly, okay? Now you want to go to your mods folder, and then you're going to... You could drag and drop it in there, but for me, I do want to make it organized so that if there is a CC that is broken, I don't have to go through all my lots that I downloaded because that's going to take forever. So I just have them organized. So, you know, it just makes life easier for me, okay? So now what I do is I make a folder that says J. Renee, J. Renee 20, 222 Hampton DR. And I already made one, so it should be somewhere near here so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and search for it here it is i now am going to double click into that folder that i made and then i'm going to open the mods folder and then i'm gonna extract it or you could just go scroll down scroll down and then you could drag it over okay so after you drag it over it's supposed to say moving in the amount of file it has in the WinZip is supposed to be going over to here. So now, after that, you could just close out of the WinZip, fi the WinZip file, and their um, folder, your mods folder, and then you could exit out of that as well. And then, if you want, you could just go ahead and delete the file from your desktop, or you could go ahead and delete the file from your um, downloads place, right? So pretty much that's it out of the game. So now we're going to go in the game and, and then I will show you guys what to do pretty much after that. Okay, so I'll see you guys in game. Okay, so y'all now we are in game, right? So what do you want to do when you're in game? You want to go to build mode. Okay, you want to go to build mode. Okay, okay. So then after you're in build mode you are going to go to the icon up here that says open the gallery or you could click F4. Don't really matter what you do, you could go click it, you could click F4. So now you're, you're on this little part right here, which is gallery, it, um, your username, and your library. So you're gonna go ahead and click your library. And then for it to show, you, you don't see it showing up, but for it to show up, you have to have include custom content on okay so then after that you're gonna see it pop up either here or if you have a lot of them in your game which you're not likely supposed to not have if you come on this video but it's supposed to show up here so for me i have to go look for which is which i see right here so that's fine um but before you put it down you have to make sure that you have you pick the lot like number so if it says 20 by 15 you have to make sure that the, the lot size is at least that size or bigger than it. it cannot be any smaller because if you have a lot that is smaller than that size that it recommends your house will be cut off like half of the house will be on the lot and then half of it will be off the lot so just want to give you a quickly friendly reminder before you go ahead and do that go ahead and put down your lot okay so now that you have a lot you are going to go and click but well, make sure before we put down the lot i'm so sorry i'm i'm like gatekeeping right now but like make sure that you have all the packs because some of the stuff are not going to be um in your game on the lot if you don't have all the packs okay that it requires you to have so now i'm sorry for gatekeeping but now you're gonna place the lot you're gonna click furnish run furnish whichever one you prefer and you're gonna I'm gonna click furnish you're gonna read this apply this to replace the lock currently in build mode you cannot undo this action do you want to continue obviously because you want to place down the lot right and then it's gonna go ahead loading um and there you have it you have the lot placed down right so if you end up having these little question mark windows or whatever it may be doors or whatever um trust me it's um sometimes it could be because the cc doesn't work in your game or 
the CC is broken, but you could simply fix that really quickly. If you want a tutorial on how to fix that, make sure you comment down below this video and tell me that you want it and subscribe to the to my YouTube channel. Um, share this video obviously and like this video. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know I'm not the best at tutorials, but I do hope this helped you guys. You know, make sure that your heart is always hurting and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye. I ain't gonna tell him, babe, I get it, darling. Yeah. You got a situation, stop sweating, darling. Yeah. Just cool, don't panic, darling. Yeah.